Ghostman Strange, Day Lois Ape. A. M. E. R. A. N. T. H. R. O. P. O. I. D. E. S. L. Y. S. I. D. Laura Ape. Lois Ape. Is a hoax of a large primate encountered by Francis de Lois in South America. Apart from testimony of the claim varying eyewitnesses, the only evidence is an animal is a photograph. Controversy continues about the authenticity of the animal, which critics are contending that the de Lory apes is a hoax. A photograph shows a posed most minor monkey carcass, though cryptologists the Fusus and a few others support the notion that Delory did indeed encounter an unknown primitive. Francis Delores is a Swiss oil geologist, led an expedition from 1917 to 1920 to search for protonium, area of the border between Colombia and Venezuela, primarily near Lake Marascubio. The expedition was unsuccessful and furthermore suffered a great due greatly due to these and skirmishes of natives of the twenty members of Delores group, only four survived. Cool Delores later reported in nineteen twenty, while camped near the Tara Lake River, two large creatures headed to the group. Initially, Delores thought they were bears, but then noted that they were monkey like holding in onto shrubs and branches. The creatures, one male, one female, seemed angry, said Delores, howling and gesturing then defecating in, into their hands and flinging feces at the expedition. Fearing for their safety, the expedition shot and killed a female. The male then fled. Delorius and his companions recognized that the cat was something unusual. The animal resembled a spider the monkey, but was much larger. 1.6 meters tall compared to the largest spider monkey, which is just over a meter tall, Delorius accounted. Delorius counted his 32 teeth. Most New World monkeys have 36 teeth, and noted that the creature had no tail at all. They posed the creature by sitting it on the crate and propping it, propping a stick under its chin. After taking a single photograph, Dolores reported they skinned the creature, intending to keep its hide and skull. Both items are later abandoned by the troubled expedition. Another theory is that the carcass was rotten, rotting in the group had to throw it out. According to other reports, most fo- more photographs were taken, but lost even a flood or during the capsizing of the scientist's boat. However, Dr. Ingrel Terrara sent the next letter to Gerora Joseph Terrell on a scientific, to, on a scientific magazine, His Monkey's a Myth. I'll tell you his story. Mr. Moran said the monkey had no tail. This is, this is not, this is sure, but you forgot to mention something. It was no tell because it was cut off. I can assure you this, gentlemen, because I saw the amputation. Who is this? Who is speaking here in 1917? Was working in a camp of royal expedition, the region of Pajara. The geologist was Francis D. Loris, engineer Dr. Martin Tavera Lang. Dr. Loris was a prankster and often we laughed at his jokes. One day they gave him a monkey with a tail. So he's amputated. Since then, Didoris called him the the humbre humbre manor, the monkey man. Some time later, I Loris went to another region of Versailles, in an area called Mingrodi. He always walked along the side of his monkey, and died some time later. Didoris decided to take a photo. I believe that Mister Vernon would not deny it. The same photograph he presented today. In 1929, Mr. Lynn presented the Ag- American Ferrarapodes Fer- in a public lecture. More recently, during a visit to Paris, and at my astonishment, it was great, great visiting the Museum of Man on top of the memorial scale, filling the bank wall. Back wall was a large photo, captation, first amphitrite ape discovered in Af- America. Is a photograph of Delores, beautifully modified. 
The plants were no longer visible in the background. It was not possible to understand on which kind of box the monkey was sitting. The trick was done so well that within a few years a monkey would be over two metres high. Finally, I must warn you, Mas- Mas- Maraton was not a good person. After all, he was executed because he betrayed France, his homeland. Yours sincerely, your friend Ecarine Tarragori.